Howdy champs, my name is Moedan People. Today I'm going to show you how to create buttons using jQuery UI. In fact, let me straight away start off with the browser preview. All right. This is actually a hyperlink people. You can see that it has a border radius, a box shadow, and a small icon inside. And when I actually click it, uh, it is uh, working just the way a hyperlink should work. Opens up a, in a new uh, blank window quality lesson dot net forward slash uh, contact dot html that's the contact section of my website quality lessons dot net so how did I actually manage to convert a hyperlink into this beautiful button where you have a different hover state a different active state and uh, has the hyperlink functionality alright so let's look at all this uh, people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this document from scratch so let me scrap everything people I'm using Zen coding it's a code assist plugin or an extension inside Dreamweaver so let's start HTML code in 5 let's expand the code using Zen code and uh, you see how quickly you are able to code fast using Zen coding plugin if you don't have that plugin please download X and uh, install the extension it should be an MPX file you can easily google it up all right, so we are working with jQuery UI buttons, right? Inside the opening and the closing body tags, let's have a link tag going. Again, I'm expanding it quickly using Zen code. Quality lessons dot net or slash contact dot html and let's have the target attribute set to underscore blank that's gonna make sure that the window opens up in a blank new uh, window right okay let's see what we have done so far nothing much actually just created a hyperlink okay and I'm gonna come out here I'm gonna say contact me let's take up a preview once again after saving the changes to the document well just a hyperlink people that's all right let's get back to the document okay now immediately after the title tag people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert opening closing style tags to get some inline style going I'm gonna I'm gonna insert some inline or embedded style uh, internal or embedded style for the uh, anchor tag which is actually a link and I'm gonna say box shadow 2px x displacement 2px y displacement and that's it see we have blurriness we have the spread and the color but then these are optional so I need not uh, put all the values so just the x displacement and y displacement is enough okay let's see how things look like right now well not much never mind things will be all okay very soon right just after the title tag people I'm gonna insert some code let me get the code in give me a sec alrighty there we go I'm gonna paste it out here now people I'm actually using uh, jQuery and jQuery UI library so this script tag is actually pointing to the jQuery library okay and this is pointing to the jQuery UI library right so what is jQuery UI? jQuery UI actually uh, further strengthens jQuery gives it more meat more power more muscle right so it gives you extra effects and extra power to manipulate jQuery alright and here we have a link tag uh, that's actually pointing to a CSS file. Now all these three files people, all these three links or uh, all these three tags, the link tag and the script tags actually are using CDN or content delivery network. There's no single file present on the hard disk. Actually are pointing to uh, a URL here and here and here. You see HTTP written everywhere. Alright, so it's pointing to a URL on the internet. Content delivery network people. Alright, very, very cool. <coughs> now uh, what I'm gonna do now is 
I'm gonna go out here in line number nine and I'm gonna have some inline uh, internal jQuery going out here between the opening and the closing script tag with the type attribute set to text JavaScript and I'm gonna target uh, the hyperlink but only after the document is actually ready and how do you write that so when the document is actually ready to be manipulated when the DOM has actually initialized and all the elements are accessible is when I would want to convert the link to a button and how do I write that so let's target the the only element that we have in the uh, body of the document the hyperlink and you say a dollar sign target it so that's a colon link alright but inside the quotation marks like so dot button b u t t o n just convert the hyperlink to a button as simple as that and let's see uh, how things look like right now in Google Chrome let's take up a preview you see that the hyperlink has actually uh, been converted into this button let's link uh, let's click and you see that uh, it's op a, a link qualitylesson.net dot uh, slash contact dot html has opened up in a new separate uh, window very, very cool all right but for starters the button is too big I'm gonna show you how to make it a little smaller okay it also shows you the box shadow 2 pxx displacement y displacement right I'm also gonna show you how to change the theme I'm gonna change this theme smoothness to a different theme people you can get the list of uh, uh, the names of all the themes by simply googling jQuery UI themes or theme roller and you'll get the list of all the different themes now not all themes will go very well with the box shadow that I've used out here so be uh, a little selective I'm gonna use UI lightness it goes well with the uh, box shadow property CSS3 property people will not work very well with older IE versions so you need to check that too alright so we have a different hover state and a different active state cool alright and uh, <coughs> now I'm gonna change the theme to let's say let's try sunny now this also works well with box shadow property and mind you not all of them will work well with the box shadow property alright there you go cool now let's make the size of the button a little smaller and that it can be done very very easily in the opening and the closing style tags people with the the type set to text CSS all I need to do is just create a very simple rule a class basically dash UI mm, dot UI dash button and just set the font size to, let's say 13 font dash size that's gonna make the button text a little smaller and will automatically shrink the size of the whole button how very simple and uncomplicated to shrink the size of the button there you go smaller text which means smaller button there you go very very cool alright now in the end I'm gonna show you how to insert an icon now again we can use different icons people alright there's so many icons jQuery UI icons all you need to do is just google up jQuery UI icons and uh, you'll arrive at a URL that's gonna give you a whole list of the different icons and their names I'm gonna use an icon called uh, UI dash icon dash mail dash closed and I'm gonna push it as an additional optional parameter inside the the uh, button brackets out here round brackets like so so icons primary set to UI dash icon dash dash mail dash closed all right just inserted this between button opening closing parents in this manner so we have curly braces opening closing out here uh, further we have uh, then we have the icons uh, additional option parameter and a colon and then we have inside opening closing curly braces again primary colon set to 
UI dash icon dash mail dash closed and let's see how things look like right now as a final look yep so we have this button which has a different hover state different active state has an icon inside has a box shadow has border radius and if you click it it's gonna take you to a separate new window so people I hope you like this tutorial found this information useful and I also hope that you'll comment you sub you'll subscribe and uh, you'll keep coming back for more tutorials from me you have a good day bye bye peace